Carl Jobs' response on The Completionist. So, to catch you all up to speed really, really quickly, The Completionist is this dude that does video games that he plays to completion. The most recent game he completed was his career, which is completed. It's over. It's Jover, baby. It's over! <laughs> <laughs> it's all over. Yeah, this dude's been running this Indyland Foundation where basically he's been making lots of money for charity. And let's just say, to put it simply, strangely enough, even though he's been running this thing for the last 10 years collecting over $600,000, he's never given any of it to, to charity. My boy Mudahar and Carl Jobs looked into this, uh, basically confronted him about this. He admitted to them that he didn't give any of that to charity. He had terrible excuses, why not? Uh, and all of a sudden, poof, after he gets all the backlash, he gives the 600000 to charity, even though, allegedly, it should be more than that. Um, but now he finally did it, you know, after the money literally depreciated in value over the last decade. Absolute dick move. And the most hilarious part is that the entire time he's been saying, oh yes, this is all purely in the name of my mother. Anyway, he releases this whole response video basically threatening Muda and Carl that he's gonna sue them. I'm waiting to see this video. I already saw the Muda one. Apparently Carl eviscerates him in this video and I am very here for it. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. Hello, you absolute legend. That's me. Ma he was talking to me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you Carl Jobs. Very cool. Subscribe to Carl Jobs. He's cool. Last month, I released two videos outlining charity fraud committed by the completionist and- Look at him. He looks like such a nice guy. If I was a retro gaming YouTuber, I would also support him for committing charity fraud. Yeah! His charity, the Open Hand Foundation. Those two videos can basically be summed up with three main allegations. One, the completionist committed charity fraud by making false, misleading statements about what the charity was doing. Dude, I love how he has the line. Dude, the completionist made, makes a response to the whole thing, and his response was so hogwash, it was embarrassing. And then you have people supporting him. It was like actual mixed reception to his response. What planet are you on? In order to solicit donations. Two, the completionist stole donations that were supposed to go to the open hand foundation and three the revenue generated by the golf tournament run by gerard's family was not being sent to the open hand foundation these are extremely serious allegations yeah, each of these three allegations is awful is awful i have been canceled for so much less than any of these Oh my god. Can you believe this? Brother. The completionist committed charity fraud. The completionist stole money. Golf charity money missing. Three claims. And I love how his response to all of them is threatening a lawsuit, which is amazing. Yeah, I've been seeing people that I know, like homies of mine, supporting him because they're like, because he's a nice guy. Bro, there is no supporting this. People that I'm friendly with, I saw supporting him, which is absolutely wild. Like, I don't know what kind of mental gymnastics you need to freaking have to support this guy. Actually insane. Doesn't matter if you- I like him. Yes, he may have slaughtered a family of 12, but he's such a nice guy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He, he, he walked my dog when I went on vacation once. He's so nice. Listen, benefit of the doubt. Emily was not being sent to the Open Hand Foundation. These are extremely serious allegations. Yeah. And to be clear, when I made those allegations, I was being extremely serious. Yeah. I wouldn't say these types of things without having a very good reason to do so. And now, finally, after almost an entire month, the completionist has responded. Yeah. And his response... I also was so mad because he stole my thumbnail. Bro, man literally ripped off my own thumbnail. Bro, check this out. Check this out. Dude, tell me he didn't lit- Come on. This is- He used the same font. He used the same font. The completion is this guy. Man is zero shame. What is this? Come on, bro. You didn't- <laughs> Like, I could not believe when I saw that come out. I was like, there ain't no way he's using the same font, same style, same size text. It's the same size text. And it wasn't a one-off either. I've done several videos like that. Look, he used the same exact font as this with the same size of the text. I, I could, when I saw that, I was just an ain't. No way, brother. Bonds is terrible. It's one of the I'll worst- i I don't care if people steal thumbnail styles. I think everyone steals thumbnail styles. So just, just to be clear, I don't care about that, except this guy committed charity fraud. Okay, listen, my, my grandfather had dementia. It's a huge, terrible thing. It's a horrible, awful thing. And this dude is basically masquerading as the nicest guy in the world to support dementia charities because his mother had dementia. Oh my God. Best videos I've ever seen. Wait. 
Did he say the font was bad? And his response is terrible. His response is terrible, not the font is terrible. Oh my god, chat, you're gaslighting me right now. It's one of the worst videos I've ever seen. He is- It's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. But, well, I guess all you need to do is puff your chest out, threaten a lawsuit, and half of retro Twitter will believe you. Because they're idiots. Manipulative, he lies, he blames everyone else, he provides no relevant evidence, he misdirects, he constructs multiple straw man arguments, and best of all, he threatens illegal action against me. Gerard Base. seems to think that just say- Base, just threaten legal action and you are so safe, brother. You are so safe. Just threaten lawsuits every time. It always works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Saying you didn't do something means you didn't do it, regardless of whether or not you actually did. And if well, you- He also says he did do it. He was just trying to explain that, well, the reason why was because I suck. Say it with enough emotion, it must be true. Initially, this seemed to work with all of his friends- Dude, when I see this, imagine making four to eight Critical trauma video sub with sponsors before letting a guy defend himself. Instead, World of Tanks sponsored an allegations video against someone who ultimately raised near a million dollars in charity. Enjoy the trauma, I guess. Guys, incredibly hot take, but all $600,000 that went to charity was purely thanks to Muda and Carl Jobst, and crediting him for raising this money is humiliating and makes you look dumb. No offense, you look dumb right now. And H how does completion his dick smell, bro? Sticker fans exclaiming confidently on Twitter that he had done nothing wrong. And it was actually Mutahar and I that were the villains. Yeah, you guys are the villains. Just like how Guts is the villain, that he didn't let Griffith uh, obtain his master plan. Because you see, we aren't experts, and we don't know what we are talking about. True. I have to admit, when I made my previous videos, I kind of glossed over some of the evidence. I basically assumed that the fraud was so obvious, I didn't need to explain. But evidently, oh, this isn't the case. So in this video, I'm going to respond to Gerard, and make it clear that he e did e in e fact e commit <laughs> charity fraud. He. I'm so excited, bro. I, I just like seeing bad people get torn down, especially if they're fake nice. I think fake nice people are probably my least favorite gender. Did in fact embezzle donations, and the golf money is in fact still missing. And if he feels confident enough, or perhaps stupid enough to test my claims in court, I will happily oblige yes! him. In this video, I'm going to break it all down, and I really hope you enjoy. I will. I will! Now also, I... dude, shave your beard, damn it. Big thanks to this video's sponsor, Empires and Puzzles. Honestly, Carl, get that bag. Don't let this dick sniffer let you feel bad about not making good bank on the downfall of this asshole. You should be proud of what you've accomplished, and if making a bag and supporting your family is part of the deal, honestly, go for it, King. First of all, I do need to mention that on the 29th of November, the Open Hand Foundation donated $600,000 to the AFTD. By the way, I, I don't know why people aren't really talking about this, but he made more than $600,000. Like, just as far as calculations go, until 2021, it was $650,000, right? And he did two more of those charity foundation things since then, and that's aside from the golf tournament, right? Not gonna lie, 600k is the bare minimum to get away with making believe you paid so that the IRS doesn't absolutely slammer your ass. This is a really good thing, and it's great the money everyone else had entrusted to Gerard over the years <laughs> is finally going to good use. What a pity way to put it, let's go. This is a good thing start, and I hope the rest of the money that the Open Hand Foundation should have received yes! gets donated as well. True. The opening five minutes of Gerard's video isn't the worst thing in the world. He distances himself completely from the golf tournament, which is probably wise, and he seems- yeah, Obviously, because they literally stole money from charity, <clears throat> but my, my favorite part about the completionist response is where he says, I'm sorry if I allegedly might have perhaps slightly led to your confusion and misunderstanding with words I might have made. It's like, okay, dude, you want, you want to put more allegedly's and maybe's in your sentence so that we can't get your ass in jail? Seems to apologize for providing misleading statements, except he doesn't. He apologizes if you felt that you were misled. Yes! He apologizes for making statements <laughs> that were potentially misleading. Let's dude, when I saw that in the freaking, in his video, I was like, you are joking me, right? You're kidding. I'm sorry if you misled yourself because of things that I said. Wow. Listen to what he has to say. I'm disappointed that I was not more straightforward regarding the foundation's timeline for making donations. He's disappointed. He's disappointed. And that I made statements potentially implying donations were- Potentially implying. Made when they had not yet been. Mm. It took too long for clear action to occur. Mm, mm. And I apologize for all of this. But so, so what is he apologizing for? He apologizes for it taking a while. Not that he misled you. You misled yourself. Such inaction was not done for any selfish 
or malicious reasons. Bullshit! Most importantly, I want to apologize to anyone who ever donated oh. over the years oh. who felt they were wronged. Who or... felt they were wronged! Imagine that. Donating to a charity, and it turns out that charity was just used for beard products for the completionist. And he wants to apologize if you felt like you might have possibly been wrong, guys. By the way, I don't actually think he used it for beard products. I'm saying, allegedly. He probably didn't use it for anything bad. Don't sue me, completionist. Keep, keep the lawsuit with Carl and, and freaking Muda. <laughs> I don't want to need to fly in for some court case. But if you do sue me, I will make a video on it. Let us stray by any of this. Gerard is trying to address my first claim, that he made misleading statements and thus committed charity fraud. Gerard does not take much responsibility or own up to this in any significant way. Instead, he says he made claims that were potentially implying that donations were made. What was going through his head? Didn't he know he would be absolutely torn apart by, like, th this response is literally worse than nothing. Naraniki, thanks for the sub. All you did with this response is you got your friends on Twitter to back you up, look like complete idiots, and destroy their own credibilities. This response was so bad, it detonated a chain of nuclear warheads wiping out your entire supporting fan base. And the man is literally reverse Santa. He's got the black beard instead of the white beard, and he just keeps the shit. <laughs> That he was disappointed because he wasn't straightforward enough about the timeline. But let's look at what Gerard actually said. My father, my brother, and I started a foundation called the Open Hand Foundation that raises mm. money mm. for dementia research and treatment for organizations all over the world. Ah. Uh, we're soon going to be partnering up with the Alzheimer's Association. That was a lie. Uh, currently working with the University of San Francisco. That was a lie. And we're kind of one of their main, um, their main funding uh support partners that is a massive lie main funding support partners meanwhile he never gave them a penny oh my god could you be i'm so sorry if you might have misled yourself with statements made by someone on my stream yes yes did you mislead yourself oh uh going into all of this um he said in 2020 that he was currently one of the main funding support partners of the University of San Francisco. Yeah, this lie is so batshit insane, it's impressive. And keep in mind, <laughs> the Open Hand Foundation has never given a single dollar to Dude, the University of- Matt Pat in the call with him. This is so sad. By the way, Matt Pat obviously had no idea what was going on. Matt Pat does a lot of charity work. He's a wonderful man. He may never have seen porn, but he's a good dude, okay? He would never do something like this. San Francisco. This lie implies many things. It doesn't just mean they give money to the USF, it means they give so much money that it's one of their main funding support mm -hmm, partners. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it means mm -hmm. that Gerard has to know exactly how much money the Open Hand Foundation is giving. He has to know how much money other entities are giving, and then he has to compare the two to conclude that his contributions are large enough to substantiate the use of the word main. Insane. True. I mean, not only did he have to have donated a lot, but he had to know how much he was donated and be so involved that he knew he was the major impact of that entire situation. Omni made a really good answer on how he could have made a better response. It's, I'm sorry, I didn't know about it properly and wasn't checking it myself when I found out about it. I had some discussion with my family and so we are donating the whole 700K and my own personal 100 or 200K amount to amend for my mistake. Honestly, not a complete absolution, but definitely a step in the right direction. Something along those lines. When you're so blatantly called out, just puffing your chest out, threatening a lawsuit, and making believe you did no wrong because you were just waiting to find the, the best way to donate. I don't know. Dude should get blasted by the IRS, honestly. I'm paying taxes so this guy could steal money. This lie cannot happen by accident. And the funny thing about this lie is that right before it, he says they will soon be working with the Alzheimer's Association. This is funny because in this clip from 2020, he name drops two organizations that still to this day have oh. not received a single penny. And of Bro. course, we know that Gerard was also saying he worked with organizations big and small across the entire world. That's a lie. We just, every year, we try to raise as much money as possible, and then we go work with, you know, Alzheimer's Association of America. Except they didn't. University of San Francisco. Except they didn't. Oh, um, Association for FTD, which is... Except they didn't. My mom had FTD. So we've, like, worked with big and small organizations across the board. We're raising money for dementia research in honor of... Oh my, my god, he's just playing the whole compilations of stuff he's saying that, that proves he was an absolute liar. Late mom, trying to help folks who've been impacted by dementia... Working with organizations like USF, uh, uh... It's wild how little he actually cares about this whole thing. The fact that he didn't donate for years just goes to show how little he cares about, you know, his cause. F FTD Association of America, 
uh, all members of the Union America, and so many more. Yeah, keep, keep keep fiddling with your fingers, there, big guy. F- look, F- look, what was that? This this these are the fingers of a man that donates money. That's what I'm looking look, at. ET Association yeah. of America. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, not, I don't mean to play the armchair psychologist, but goddamn, bro. Uh, all members of the America and so many more. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Pick, pick your thumb while you talk about where you donated to. And uh, you know, it irks me so much. This is one of the most gross YouTuber dramas I've ever seen. You no, know, my dad has been working hard over these these last, you know, I'd say last decade or so, yeah, working yeah. with so many organizations to raise money for dementia research uh. prevention, um, helping families and people who have been affected by dementia. No reasonable person Dude, can take- People hate on Boogie for his bad, you know, money squandering. This is infinitely worse. You do realize this is infinitely worse. Make this any other way than by thinking that the Open Hand Foundation was giving these organizations money. Because the simple fact is that the Open Hand Foundation doesn't do anything else. They are simply a middleman taking- <laughs> True! The, the organization just collects money to give to charities and doesn't give it to charities. Have, have you wondered? money from the fans of The Completionist and moving it to a more worthwhile entity. It's literally their only job. And Gerard was always- <laughs> Maybe he forgot to donate because he had dementia. Good one, chat. Yes, yes. Using past and current tense, not future tense. This isn't not being straightforward about the timeline, it's lying about the timeline. And not only did Gerard lie about giving money or being associated with charities, he lied about what the charity was doing. List Which is worse, financial fraud, crypto rug pull, or this? Bro, you want me to do a tier list of, of most evil financial frauds? I think this is way more evil. I, I think this is way more evil than uh, rug pull crypto scam. Like, without even a shadow of a doubt. First of all, let's use Logan Paul as an example. Dude, whoever believes Logan Paul to buy Zoo Coin or MILF Coin or Dink Doink Coin is missing a couple screws. They're, they are an idiot, okay? Now, while obviously it's wrong to rug pull them because they're idiots, these people are donating money to a cause that this guy clearly is passionate about because his mother died of this disease. They are donating to this cause to help something, not to make incredible money like the crypto idiots think that they're gonna make off Logan Paul scams. These people literally wanna make an impact on some evil in this world. And they go to beard products instead. Listen to this. We are raising money for dementia research and treatment, more specifically helping families and those loved ones who've been affected by uh, early onset dementia and who are learning how their lives are going to be changing forever, what tools and what necessities they're going to need as they go forward with taking care of their loved ones. These are very, very specific claims. Yeah, and lies. And they are complete fabrications. He is lying out of his ass, and Damn. he did this constantly. But essentially, uh, uh, we're raising money. Bro literally has all of the streams downloaded, and he's just saying, you know what? I'm gonna play every single lie you made for dementia research and prevention, uh, specifically for people, um, for families rather, who just found out that a loved one of theirs has been um, affected by dementia. Uh, in terms. <laughs> God, chat, you people are evil. Maybe if we would have given the money years ago, America's president would be normal. <laughs> Why you gotta do Biden like that, bro? Dude, the completionist single-handedly stopped Biden from... <laughs> Oh my god. In terms of getting the correct care, the right doctor, so on and so forth. Uh, raising money for dementia research. We're trying to help those... Dude, I just see him in calls with all these YouTubers. He literally used this... Wow. Everyone out there saying, but he didn't actually use the money for himself. Let me teach you something about YouTube, okay? Collaborating with massive creators is, in fact, insanely beneficial for your channel and your career. Um, now, a really easy way to get uh, big creators to work with you is if you know, I don't know, you're doing a yearly charity organization that's making hundreds of thousands of dollars to give to dementia research, a noble cause. And he is using this noble cause to collect all this money to collab with Ego Raptor, who's one of the Game Grunks guys, I think, to collab with MatPat, like we saw earlier. All these people in the call with him at all these different times are only in this call with him because he is such a nice guy donating all this money to charity. He is using the charity as a leveraging point to collab with big creators and grow his brand. So yeah, even if at this point he gives all the money to charity, that does not mean anything. He gains so much by doing this. <laughs> it's insane. Who are affected by Alzheimer's, all types, of, all types of dementia, and beyond. Specifically people who, families who have just found out that a loved one has dementia, and the next steps that are taken to help them transition from yeah. uh, the shock of it all to mm. the next steps of, of getting 
uh, in-house care. And God, he's just so caring, isn't he? So much more. Gerard lied about giving money, Gerard lied about working with organizations, and Gerard lied about how the charity was helping victims of dementia, and he was using those lies to solicit donations. This is the textbook definition of charity fraud. True. Britannica states that charity fraud is a type of fraud that occurs when charitable organizations that solicit funds from the public for philanthropic goals, such as seeking cures for diseases, solicit oh donations in a deceptive manner, or use- That's deceptive! You know why? Because none of the money was given for any of that stuff. Mm, yeah, it's pretty deceptive. The monies that they collect for purposes not intended by the donors. I have definitively shown that Gerard was deceptive and thus have already proven he committed charity fraud. But what about using money yeah. in a way not intended by the donors? Let's investigate that claim. Now, I never used the word embezzled in any of my videos, but Gerard kept bringing it up and he was adamant that he had not embezzled any money. Saying that we are fraudsters that what we are doing is illegal and constitutes charity fraud, that we are using my dead mother's name to potentially embezzle money and steal is potentially embezzle money. Categorically false. For those who don't know- He said it was so much heart, I believe it. ...know what embezzlement means. Did you see how his beard quivered with emotion? I did, and I believe him now. Simple. It means theft or misappropriation of funds placed in one's trust. With Damn, bro, they never called him an embezzler, and he went out on his video saying that I never embezzled anything. God damn it, bro. God damn it. Why did he have to mention it first? Bro, dude. With the power of math, I concluded that money from bits, subs, and merch raised by Indyland wasn't going to the Open Hand Foundation. And not only- And just self-reported embezzlement, let's go. Only that, this means all the bits, subs, and all of that extra revenue that Gerard promised us would go to Open Hand wasn't sent over either. This is a pretty specific claim. I mean, how on earth would I know that if I was using bad math and missing information, as Gerard asserts? And these accusations are the result of bad math and missing information. True, true. The bad math is that uh, he was given more than $600,000 and he gave none of it to charity. But if their math would have been in order, maybe they would have noticed that I didn't embezzle quite as much as I definitely did embezzle. Mm, yes. And yet, I was correct. And Gerard admitted this in his response. Income from Twitch subscriptions and bits, along with merchandise, have offset some of the production costs. Offset some of the production costs. This is something else that I saw a lot of people not talk about. It offsets some of the production costs, which means, aside from the bits and subs and merch, he's also using some more money from the overall donations to offset production costs. Production costs. Dude, yesterday was the VTuber Awards. Fillion had more production costs in that one stream alone than you had in your whole career. Career. So to say the money is missing is simply wrong. This was shocking to me. Yeah, Just because it's a flat out lie. Gerard not understand that he is admitting to embezzlement here? To be clear, a charity using donations to cover expenses isn't illegal. It's totally normal and common. Well, if they let you know that that's what they're doing. But that's not what Gerard did. Gerard lied to the public and said that this money was going to charity and that he wasn't touching any of it. Uh, you can do bits, you can do subs, you can actually donate money. Um, if you are more like, I want a material thing, you can do a shirt, you can do a coin, it all goes to charity. It's ah! It all goes where? One more time, sir. I want a material thing. You can do a shirt, you can do a coin, it all goes to charity, it's all great. Bits, subs, YouTube memberships, or YouTube super chats, anything that supports us is going to the foundation at the very end. That's Except it didn't. It Even in his words, it offsets some of the production costs. Reminder, all bits and subs, including Amazon Primes, uh, go towards the uh, the charity as well. So it's all all a pass through, all going for a good cause. Gift subs, member- Good cause. Going to my ass. This is a great cause. All bits, subs, donations, charity donations, merch sales. It's all going right into my Uber Eats account so I could buy more McFingers for my next stream. Ships on YouTube, Super Chats, all that goes to the charity as well. And hey, if you want to get a t-shirt, all- God, shout out, shout out to Ian Hecox, who's sitting on a stream purely for philanthropic purposes to help out a charity, completely not knowing that all of the money is going straight into completionist's gut. Of the proceeds from the shirt also go to charity. Your primes, 
Your gift subs, your bits. Oh my god, he the- says it so many times. How are you so tone deaf that you thought it was a good idea to include that in your response video? Donations all go to charity. We don't take any of it. Uh, bits and subs on Twitch, memberships, super chats on YouTube, all goes to the cause. If you want to buy an Indie Land t-shirt, you can totally do that. Uh, and for the folks who are in attend- attendance, you can actually go buy one from the lobby, so please go do- Did they get paid to go there? Of course they didn't get paid to go there! They went out of their own free will because it was promoting a charity event where none of the money went to charity! <laughs> this is why I keep saying, of course he gained so much out of the whole thing. Bro, what?! That all the proceeds and all those things do go to charity, we don't touch any of it. Hey, all bits! All subscriptions and all donations go directly to charity. We're t- you know how I know that Completionist is not going to be suing Muda or Carl? Because he does not want this inside of a courtroom by any means necessary. Taking none of it. It's all for a good cause. Gift subs oh and my memberships God, on YouTube, Super Chats, all that goes to the charity as well. And Everything on stream today, whether you're donating bits or subs or donations towards any goals via the Tiltify account, if you buy a t-shirt. He's the completionist. He ain't gonna stop until 100% of everybody's money was given 100% to all charities. <laughs> Anything like that, all the money goes towards uh, dementia research. Uh-huh. Um, we take, we make none of it. It all goes for the good Directly cause. Directly to charity. You know, in ten years, when I'm called out by Muda for embezzling money. All bits, all donations, all super chats, all YouTube memberships, basically anything that's tied to donating or subscribing in a financial way to us is going to charity. We're not touching any of it. It's all going for a good cause. Mm-hmm. As a reminder, guys, all bits- Oh my god, dude. He literally has the same thing said billions of times. Carl is just like, you know what? We're gonna give him a compilation. He will never defeat a compilation. That's even worse than an allegation. Thubs, uh, donations, uh, Amazon Prime or Prime Gaming Is this subs, the rest of the video? And t-shirt just sales every time all go to charity. Lies. So we, we, we touch none of it. It all goes for a good cause. Yeah, sure. Where all the donations and bits, subscriptions that are happening on stream Lord. today all go towards the charity. If you buy a t-shirt, if oh you my buy God. a challenge coin, that also all goes to charity. All subs during this stream for the next three or four days go towards the foundation. Uh, all the money goes to the Foundation, an organization that we started in honor of my mom. And all that money goes to Dementia uh-huh. Research. Mm-hmm. We don't touch any of it. We just work with people who do mm-hmm. need the money. If you want to buy a t-shirt, you should buy a t-shirt. All the proceeds uh-huh. go there. Bits, subs, gift subs, super chats, wow. memberships, anything financially Damn. involved with the show goes to Dementia Research. Okay. And all the money that we are raising, whether you are giving nice. us bits, whether you're giving us subs, whether you're buying t-shirts or pins or whatever Bro. the hell we're selling, anything and everything in between, all proceeds are going to charity. Uh, gift subs. Uh-huh. If you're repeating something so many times, you know you're bullshitting. True, 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 true. To other people, you can buy subs for yourself, you can give bits, all that goes to charity. You can buy a t-shirt. Okay. We have a challenge coin. Oh. That can legally a weapon. If you throw it, it's very heavy. All of this stuff is going to charity. Income from Twitch subscriptions and bits, along with merchandise, have offset some of the production costs. And not only did Gerard say this many times, Bro. it was plastered on screen. <laughs> For brevity, I only showed a fraction of his lies. Bro, it was five straight minutes of lies. <laughs> oh my god, bro. He's like, yes, I could have made this a four hour long video of him just saying it 10,000 different times. Bro, the noble savage, thanks for the sub. Oh my god. And not only did Gerard say this many times, it was plastered on screen during the entire event. Oh my god. For multiple years. All bit subs and donations go to the Open Hand Foundation. Well, they do, except the Open Hand Foundation is synonymous with his back pocket. Is. What you need to understand is that Gerard isn't a charity. He is an individual. When you give a bit or a sub to his Twitch channel, you aren't giving money to charity. You're giving money to Gerard. Gerard said, give me money in the form of bits and subs, and I will give that money to charity. He told his fans and people that look up to him, entrust your hard-earned money to me, and I will give all of that money to the Open Hand Foundation. But you know what happened when everyone gave Gerard their money? I know what happened. Assuming it would go to charity, Gerard said, fuck you, I've changed my mind. I'm- no, 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 no. He did it with a smile. He was like, oh, don't worry about it. Ooh, ooh, fuck you. I changed my mind. <laughs> Which is a totally different thing, okay? He's the nice guy on YouTube. It's different. I'm going to spend that money on something else. Yeah, he probably told you, oh, I'm going to take your money and use it. And you should definitely look after your mental health and make sure you're okay. I want to make sure that everyone watching my stream is taken care of properly. I'm going to keep your money, but I want you to know that I appreciate you guys, my kittens. I'm going to spend that money on something that directly benefits myself. This is again textbook charity fraud and is the literal definition of embezzlement. Some might say, but Carl, Gerard isn't spending money on himself. Thanks for the 400 bits, Diamond Jirachi. Nux, please give this to charity. Bro, you really want me to remember to give $4 to charity? Why are you like this? Oh my god.
himself. He's spending money to fund IndieLand. But IndieLand is Gerard. It's his event, run by his company, streamed on his Twitch channel. Of everyone in the entire world who benefits from IndieLand, it's Gerard who benefits the most. Ha. He gets the Twitch follow- don't forget to give, it to, to give it to Charity Nux. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should, to show how good of a guy Nux is. Well, Fillion was going to give me, like, what was it, $512 on something on stream, and I had her give it to Charity instead. So that's something documentable. You know, I give I give over 10% of everything I make to Charity. Not even kidding. Not even exaggerating. This I never tell people that. I don't want you to donate to me thinking I'm giving everything to Charity. Anything you give me, in your mind, you should be giving it directly to me. I'm not doing any of this bullshit, but I literally do give over 10 percent of everything I make to charity. And um, I think honestly everyone should do that. Is that a lot? I would say so. Followers, he gets the media attention. He gets to mingle with game developers and celebrities. He gets all the credit. And do you really think that everyone who subscribes during IndieLand instantly cancels their subscription the moment it ends? Gerard taking donations to pay for IndieLand is not only him spending donations on himself, it's him paying for something that he directly benefits from. But besides, what he spends that money on is ultimately irrelevant. He said True. he would give that money to charity, but didn't. instead, he spent it. That's fraud, that's theft, and that is embezzlement. And what makes this yeah. even worse is that he would then go and lie, trying to take credit for paying for everything himself. So for those of you guys who don't know, we had a show last year, <laughs> um, and it, it, it went great, but it was very expensive, and we... TOBG covered the cost of it. But so they covered the cost of it, but then you also used bits and subs to cover the cost of it. Interesting, interesting. We we have kind of a rule of like, we want to make sure that like, as we do charity events, that we're not costing the charity organization ah, mm, or really yeah. anyone outside yeah, of our, our, yeah. our awesome sponsors. The guys at FlyQuest have been so supportive. Um, we want to make sure that the money that we do raise actually goes to charity. And How could someone be so brazen and say this shit knowing exactly what they're doing? It's like so wild to me. And is spent properly. Gerard tries to explain why he kept the money for so many years, saying that he wanted to make a restricted donation, and he needed enough money to do that. This is one of the big reasons as to why the donation took so long. The organization did not raise enough money to make the impact that would allow the funds to be restricted and avoid those high admin costs. That is such a stupid bullshit fucked up nothing burger of a reason. So they didn't give money for 10 years because they wanted to make sure they can give so much in one shot that the high octane admin costs wouldn't take a huge cut out of the money. Do you realize how garbage that is? You know that there are places you could give the money to that would not take admin costs even if you donate one dollar, okay? What, what planet are you on? So you know what? Find a family that uh, the family's having a hard time because they have a family member that has de dementia and they actually need to get, you know, live in care for that family member, but they can't afford that and take the money and give it to that individual family. The end. Find six of those families and give each of them 100K. Do you know how much you can help them? Do you know how difficult it is to afford medical help for people that genuinely need it? Like, especially someone that becomes incapacitated because they have dementia? Like, you don't need some high octane crazy organization. The, the whole thing is just so baffling evil and the way he makes his response is just it's so insane first i need to point out what seems to be obvious to me but hardly anyone else seems to acknowledge not passing along money people have entrusted to you to give to charity because you don't have enough money and you really want to make a restricted donation <laughs> is completely bullshit that is not a sufficient reason to hold funds Th guys if you give me money i will give all of that money to charity and then five years later guys i didn't give it to charity because i didn't want them to take a cut of your money so i just decided to spend it on myself instead. This is a completely unnecessary hurdle to place. If you as an entity already have a lot of money and you want your donation to be restricted, so be it. But if you keep other people's money and mislead people because of your grandiose vision of how you think you should impact the world, you're just a pile of garbage. At minimum, you should have asked the public first. Fat pile of garbage. Can we be fat phobic against people that commit charity fraud? I say yes! It is my moral doctrine to say yes. And if I get banned on Twitter, for it, so be it, I'm moving to kick anyway. Kick.com slash Nuxinor, baby. Just if this was okay, and the fact that you didn't shows a total disrespect for the property of others. But let's be honest, this excuse is just another lie. Remember, I emailed the Open Hand Foundation over a month ago, asking them why they haven't donated the money. Did Gerard forget that? He certainly hopes you did. Mm. Let me refresh your memory. In the official Open Hand response from Jacques, the Vice President of the Open Hand Foundation, Foundation, he said they hadn't donated because they didn't know who to donate to. They said there was- Oh my god, what the frick? 
this doesn't even feel like real life. Hey guys, we know we were raising money every year for the last decade to donate, but we didn't know where to give it, so we just kept it. <laughs> Honestly. Could you recommend an organization to research entities to share a vision that can be potential celebrities in advancing our mission? You are collecting money to give to charity. When someone calls you out for not giving the money to charity, you don't put on them to find you a good charity to donate to. Maybe donate to the charities that you were using in your videos to raise money. Holy crap. Still looking for a beneficiary and even asked me if I had suggestions. We even asked Gerard why he hadn't donated the money. And he said that he only found out recently and that it was not fucking cool that no money had been donated. Dude, it's so not fucking cool that all the money I stole was stolen, guys. Honestly. I was made aware in 2021 with the-, the, the Dude, this Discord call is the most damning thing in the universe. Uh, honestly- it's great it happened, because it's great that the completionist ended up donating all this money because he was called out, but goddamn. Imagine taking this call. What was going through his head when he took this call? I was talking to Muda about it, and he, even he was like, there's no way he's taking this call. The money hadn't moved yet, and that's what made me go, that's not fucking cool. And that's mm, what I got personally cool. involved to move it. So we asked multiple people from the Open Hand Foundation, and none of them mentioned anything about waiting for a restricted donation. Now, a month later, their story has completely changed. Apparently, this was the plan all along. And you know what's really interesting? They only donated 600,000. They had more than that amount of money over 2021. a year ago in 2022. Yes, sir! Oh, 2022. Dude, insane. Insane. Bro for God for 10 years. Bro... That is so not cool. We're almost in 2024. Isn't it convenient that 600,000 is suddenly enough to be a restricted donation, when over a year ago, it wasn't? This hurdle seemed to magically vanish as soon as someone discovered they hadn't donated any money. In fact, I can prove this hurdle never even existed. You can go to the <laughs> AFTD website- That's what I'm saying! You can donate any amount of money! $600,000! Oh, but, but they might take a cut! Bro, you can donate $1 and they don't take a cut. ...right now, and choose exactly where your donation goes. You don't need to donate 600,000, and you don't even need to steal donations for 10 years to do it. <laughs> wow! You don't even need to steal donations for 10 years, huge. And the icing on the cake is that when me and Mutaha spoke with Gerard, he outright admitted the only reason they were looking to donate the money now is because he was faced with the prospect of this going public. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. So as of now, the money, as far as your understanding, that six hundred sixty thousand dollars, roughly, is still sitting in your like that that charity account, waiting for a benefactor at the right time. Uh, I mean, as of this week, we've been we've been having conversations about moving it as early as as this week. Wow! After ten years of sitting on it, this week they had conversations of moving it. Wow! What a coincidence, guys. What a coincidence. As today or tomorrow, just because oh, the pressure I got from you guys, if I'm being- Oh, oh, oh. Man, straight up said it. Can we congratulate Carl Jobst and Mudahar for raising $600,000 for dementia research? Let's go, guys. A hand and a half to you guys for being so cool and liberating that lost funds. I'm quite honest. Um, mm -hmm. Not that I was trying to save face, but like, this is a- a private fight that I've been dealing with for months. I'm not trying to say face or anything, but my face is not safe. My family, and I I even told my family, <laughs> hey, this is the last Indian land I'm ever going to do, because this is the 10th year anniversary of my mom's passing, and uh, when I kind of found all this information out, I was very unhappy with He what just figured it out, guys! Remember how he mentioned earlier how he was the leading supporting donor for whatever society of freaking university of bullshittery that he was talking about? Well, he forgot. But things were going, and, um... He knew this was deceptive and wrong the entire time. I'm not trying to ask for forgiveness. I'm not trying to hide this, but what... What would you guys like me to do? Because what can I do that will make you guys not make videos on me and destroy my career? Hmm. Because... Mm. I, I want to do right by everyone involved on my side, and I, I want to absolve myself of this as best I can. I want to absolve myself, but I and I don't want to actually, you know, face the repercussions of my actions, if that's okay with you guys. And and I know I can't, and, you know, you guys are some of the biggest creators in the space. When you guys will, whatever you guys will say, this is going to follow me for the ex the rest of my life holy shit he has zero remorse for not donating the money like it's wild you hear this and you're like wow this is a guy who's for 10 years doing charity events and felt zero remorse for not donating he just doesn't want to be called out and i just want to be able to to do right by by you guys and by my community and by my mm -hmm. family at this point and i just want you know like i'm i literally am am, am about to like 
donate all this money today. Oh, that's, that's so nice of him. Wow. Prior to that, earlier this week and the week before, and I've just been sitting here crippled trying to figure out. You know what? Dude should have just been honest. In his apology video, he should have said, listen, guys, it's been a good ride. I'm sorry that I was caught. I'll be honest with you. I wanted to keep all this money for myself. I wanted to see how long this nice guy routine could go. But the mask is off and the Joker arc has begun. How far can I push everyone? Congratulations on catching me. Let's see if you can solve the other 24 bombs I've placed all around Gotham City. If he would have made a response like that, bro, I would have loved him. The best way to handle this, because I felt like if I donated the money the minute you guys emailed me, it'd be a situation of, well, he's trying to hide it and he's admitting guilt by doing that. And... I never felt that way, but I understand completely that you guys could easily argue that, and it would just make me look more like a scumbag, and... Dude, you look like a scumbag anyway, dog. Either go mask off and admit it, I did plan on stealing the money, and I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for those meddling kids and that dumb Discord call. Um, you know, I, I just wanted, you know, I, I wanted to write by you guys and what you think. Even you want to do right by that, not the donors. If I survive this somehow, even if this is like... People are like, well, whatever. That's how it is. You ain't surviving this, bro. Your career is over. You've just completionisted your career. Yeah. This, it's gonna take the passion out of what I do. I like no. I'm. I'm people aren't gonna trust me ever again. I'm not gonna yep. trust myself ever again. Uh huh. And I'm just gonna walk away from all this. Like dude, I, dude, you should. I know what you guys. You you have to tell them that you're in a really dark place and you're thinking about suicide right now. And if they drop a video on you, bro, that would be it. That would be it. You should tell them that. Maybe they that'll stop them. I, I just. This is like me being like, great, so I'm out. Not just a, of, of content creation or, or being an online personality. I'm just mm -hmm. going to... I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna disappear and start over and, and never talk to anyone ever again. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Dude, what is he even thinking? What is he thinking? He's trying not to cry? Dude, his career is over. Like, uh, listen, if I was a friend of his, I wasn't. I've like, I've seen his videos in the past. If I was a friend of his, I would be so hurt to hear that a friend of mine did this kind of thing. The simple reality is that if we had not made the videos we did, that money would still be sitting in their bank account doing- Big facts. Give yourself some credit, gamers. You guys got that money donated. Doing nothing to fight dementia. And this leads me to what is the worst part of Gerard's video. Let's start with the Open Hand Foundation's formation. But my mother- Oh my god, I totally forgot he did this, because this is so irrelevant. But you're right, this is the worst part of the video, because of how irrelevant he is. Passed away in 2013, we donated her brain and spinal cord to the same academics and doctors we worked with. I'm glad he's mentioning that, because that's super relevant for how he, you know, stole money. Hmm, yes, yes. To further advance their research. There's a link in the description to her autopsy report. <laughs> Dude, we believe you she's dead, okay? Listen, that's not the lie here. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you are evil. Holy crap. That is the most morbid appeal to emotion I've ever seen in my life. Brother, who does that? Oh my god, dude. That confirms her brain and spinal cord were both donated to science. Why does that have anything to do with anything? Do you want us to feel bad for you, bro? I hate to say this, but it needs to be said. The way Gerard uses his dead mother is sickening. Basically. When investigating Gerard, I had to watch clip after clip after clip, year after year after year, of him constantly bringing up his dead mother Basically. every single chance he Basically. gets. Basically. Basically. He uses her to Basically. try and gain sympathy. He uses her to try to get money. And, and, and here's the thing. You feel like like scum to even call him out because yeah, his mother's died, dead, which is exactly the point. Like the appeal to emotion is so good that you feel bad to call him out on appealing to emotion because he's appealing to emotion. And he uses her as a shit. Dude, you want to hear the biggest twist though of all time? The mom is still alive. The autopsy report is fake. It's all fake. Killed against criticism. It is utterly disgusting. I recently lost my mother too, and I know the pain of losing a parent. Oh, In fact, I've lost both of my parents. I'm not so- Thank God, my parents are alive and well. But I could just imagine. Nux, don't use your grandfather who survived the Holocaust. Oh, bro, you could bet your ass I will. I'm gonna get cancelled on the other side. My grandfather survived the Holocaust and my his grandson gets cancelled? Unacceptable! I'm gonna do it. Thank you for reminding me, chat. That's huge. Someone who is unaware of how that feels. But seeing Gerard use his mother's death as a weapon and a shield is messed up on so many levels that it makes me feel nauseous. He brings her up again multiple times in this video, and every single time was not only unnecessary, it was completely inappropriate and manipulative. 
With all of this being said, there was one thing I did get wrong. I said the tax filings weren't signed. That's such a nothing burger! And of course he had to dwell on that in his response. In saying that, however, these filings don't seem to be done properly, and they aren't even signed, which is definitely a legal requirement. The Foundation files all their taxes electronically, which does not require a physical signature on the actual forms. Only e I love how he's like really honing in on this one point. Man made one little misspeak in his video, and dude is just going in. He's like, it did not need to be signed, you fool. Your entire video is wrong. All that evidence garbage because it doesn't need to be signed, Carl. ...forms that are sent from a certified public accountant for electronic signature. Not only is this legal, but it is the industry standard for filing taxes here in the United States. It pains me to say this, but I was incorrect. Damn. The forms were signed. Aww. This was a throwaway line that was poorly researched, and I shouldn't have said it. It meant nothing, it affected nothing, and I based none of my claims on this fact. Still, I owe everyone, and especially Gerard, an apology. <laughs> so Gerard, Dude, from the bottom of my heart, <laughs> I'm sorry wow. that when discussing your multiple examples of committing charity fraud, I said the open hand tax filings weren't signed. Most oh my god! Dude. Dude, thank you. That was the pettiest apology I've ever heard in my life. Oh my god! Dude, God, no! Yes, I would apologize for him dead. Yes, yes, true. Most of Gerard's video is him going over information unrelated to me, my videos, or my claims. He hardly addresses my concerns about the golf charity event money, essentially saying, we didn't take the money, trust me bro. He provides no bank statements. Source? Made it the fuck up. Statements, no accounting, nothing. Apparently, we just have to take this proven liar at his word, which unfortunately, I'm not willing to do. And what he does say doesn't even make sense. Listen to this. Finally. Pledges and donations are not always collected at the same time of the event. It might take a few months to receive the funds, often rolling them into the following year's income. As for what the costs are to run an event like this, huh? there are event organizers, venue expenses, crafts and catering, event dinners, support staff, production equipment. Event dinners? Bro, it's just your regular stream. Oh my god, why is no one's... Dude, I don't have event dinners when I stream. What? Rentals, event branded merchandise, security... You sell the merchandise! Insurance, and more. Security, right. Security. Smaller events have smaller costs. And as the foundation scale the events, the expenses increased proportionally. Yeah, but he you said, wonder why they scaled the events. It was to give more money to charity, right? This donations from the golf tournaments carry across into the next year. But that doesn't happen. The money doesn't appear in any of the later years. I'll be excited when I tell Dor uh, tell the government, I'm not going to be paying any taxes on any of the money, uh, any of the food that I eat. It's all just part of the event dinner of my streams. I can't stream if I don't eat. It's all a business expense. For example, in 2022, IndyLand raised over $100,000 according to the lead director of IndyLand, ah, Michael Barrity. I think this figure is especially trustworthy given that it's not coming from Gerard or anyone in his family. Jamie Lee Curtis also gave open hand 25000 just Bro. those two sources alone is already way over the amount of revenue that Open Hand declared for that year. He blamed this guy for bad math when two donations were way more than the entire thing that they claimed they made that year. Oh my god. Which was just 117000 The golf money is gone. And what's even crazier is that despite Open Hand not getting any of that golf money, they still took money from other donations to pay for the golf event. Wow. That's crazy. Oh my god. None of the golf events money goes to charity. But the money that they made on the stream went to pay for the golf event. Gerard ignores this completely and just tries to confuse everyone. He provides an order from 2014. I activate my trap card. It's my dead mother's autopsy report. A year that no one cares about. He breaks down income and expenses from 2023. Another year that no one cares about because we don't even have the tax filings yet. Almost everything in the video is completely void of purpose and is a huge waste of time. I'm not sure if Gerard is either too stupid to understand what we said, Ew. or if he is intentionally being stupid in order to make this as confusing as possible. At Honestly, I don't even... Again, I don't know what was going through his head. I, I mentioned this on the podcast, but at least be selfish about it. For pure selfish purposes, you don't want to get cancelled and lose your whole career over this sort of thing, right? So purely for selfish reasons, you'd think he'd protect himself. At the end of the video, Gerard gets angry, puffs out his chest, and attempts to scare me. Furthermore, 
My family and I are in serious conversations with our legal teams mm. regarding next steps as the allegations that have been made have been made with complete disregard for the truth of the matter. Uh-oh! These allegations were made by individuals who self-admittedly aren't even financial or legal professionals. These allegations are slanderous <laughs> and we believe we're done with selfish intent. What a pathetic bitch. Got the guy who lied to his fans for years, taking hundreds of thousands of dollars of their money by misleading them. I love how people just believed him for some reason when he dropped this. People were like, wow, this is exactly how a response is supposed to be. You're so real for this, beard man. Um, the guy who kept donations. And my favorite, uh, my favorite hot take of this entire event and why people are hating on Gerard is because of racism. Gerard is a Muslim. Poor guy. He's getting hate because of racism. Meanwhile, Mudahar is a Muslim. So, fuck you? For a decade, and only donated because he got caught, the guy who spent donations on himself, the guy who abused the trust of his friends and dragged them into this, the guy who jeopardized the financial security of all of his employees because of his sheer stupidity and greed, has the gall to threaten legal action. What an absolute buffoon. Got him. If Gerard or his family are stupid enough to go after me, I wish them the best of luck. <laughs> Bro, this ain't gonna happen at all, my guy. This ain't gonna happen at all, my guy. Oh my god. The actions of Gerard are not the actions of a nice guy. He lies chronically, he has no respect for the property of his fans, he is manipulative, he disrespects his own mother who cannot speak for her- He has no hygiene? Look at his beard, god damn- I guess this was earlier in the Indie Land stuff, he didn't buy all the beard products yet. ...self by constantly dragging her into this, he takes no responsibility for what he did, he blames everyone else for being too stupid and easily misled, and he attacks those that rightfully call him out for his shortcomings. And it seems like some of Gerard's friends don't mind if he commits a bit of charity. Gerard is a good person who doesn't deserve the punishment he received for his mistakes. Oh, his mistakes of not donating $600,000 of charity money to charity. That, that mistake. That, that mistake. Oh. Yeah. ...be fraud here or there either. They don't mind if he steals and lies and threatens life-changing legal action when he's the one at fault. They don't mind if Gerard takes objectively immoral action against others as long as he's pleasant and friendly to them. Because at the end of the day, as long as Gerard's nice to them, that's all they care about. That's where their moral compass leads them. For me, that's the wildest part. For one person to be, like, an idiot... Okay, whatever. There are a lot of idiots. For this guy to be an idiot, not that crazy. But for people to support him after seeing what he's done, like, you have to be actually brain damaged. Like, I, I can't even conceive how someone could see this story, even if you're not objective. Even if you love this guy, how do you see this story and just be like, hmm, hmm. Listen, you just, listen, you, he's a good guy, though. He's a good guy them directly back to themselves and that's why if i damage gerard i damage them and they hate me for it at the end of the day this isn't just about gerard this is about raising awareness that these types of people exist there are people out there who don't care if people lie they don't care if the audience is manipulated and abused as long as they are within the small group who ultimately benefits yes, you need to be very weary of those who come with a smile because they are so true king Dude, I hate these fake wholesome people. They're literally my least favorite people on the internet. God damn it. At least be an outward asshole. Oh my god. Not always genuine. And if you are not careful, you will eventually fall victim. Thank you so much for watching. I've you fallen victim. I believed in people that ended up being assholes. It sucks, man. It sucks. You legends. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Good video, man. All right, let's 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 pull up his clip right now. We're pulling up this, this clip. Everyone's been telling me I had to see this. What's, what's this leaked call thing? The last thing I want to do is ruin the legacy of my family, of my mom and her memory, especially because this is such a personal thing for the last 25 years of my life. Um, you know, I'm, I, I'm not trying to be like, do you guys want money to help me hide this? It's not, this is at all. I'm just asking no, no, no. from a humanity perspective of like, if I am the target of this, I have 20 mouths to feed. I have sponsors. I have a business. Don't, you wouldn't have any of these issues if you just donated money. Dude, if you just gave the money that, that if, if the money that people gave to you to give to people was given to the people, then this wouldn't happen. This is all your own fault. Bro sitting there holding in, prepared to shit himself, and oh my lord. Trying to make video games. I'm trying to get out of content creation so I don't have to worry about YouTube anymore and, and do better things in the world. Uh -huh. And I just know because of my track record of things like G4 exploding, 
me being friends with John Tron when he was a racist. Oh, give me a break, bro. Oh my god. You're really playing that card? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, dude. Uh, you know, I've been a part of like, you know, pro Jared, like pulling one yeah. thread about the charity thing is going to upheave my entire life in a way that scares the living crap out of me. It's it's, it's all self-inflicted. It is all self-inflicted. And I don't want to go home tonight and tell everyone, "Hey, there is a gigantic thing coming to claim my career." And you all have to close down and find somewhere else to do. Am I an asshole that I, that I like, feel no mercy? Like, should I feel mercy? Am I a sociopath that I feel zero mercy towards this person whose life is imploding due to his own evil? Do I know this is shitting me to say this. I'm not trying to ask for sympathy or anything. But this kind of stuff, I mean, I've been following your guys' this stuff for years. The stuff with Billy Mitchell, Carl, the stuff that you've done, Muto, with tons of content creators over the years. Like, mm -hmm. there's no nuance to this. People are going to see this, and they're going to immediately go, that Gerard guy who's been nice to a bunch of people actually isn't very nice overall. Fuck yeah. him. Let's get rid of him. Yeah. And Was that it? Dude, holy crap. Man really went on, like, a minute and a half of guilt tripping right there. Oh, my God. Did G Gerard allude to paying Muda and Carl off? What? I didn't notice that. The last thing I want to do is ruin the legacy of my family, of my mom and her memory, especially because this is such a personal thing for oh the last- Oh my god, back with the mom. Whip out the autopsy report, homie. Last 25 years of my life. You know, I'm- I- <laughs> I'm not trying to be like, do you guys want money to help me hide this? It's not this- Whoa! How did I not notice that the first time I listened to it? Oh my god! Wait, one more time. That can't be real. <laughs> I'm not trying to be like, do you guys want money to help me hide this? It's not this is at all. Did he just say, I'm not trying to be like, I want to bribe you to let me get away with charity fraud? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying at all. Unless. <laughs> what? Just put it in there? He's offering them hush money? Oh my god, dude. Oh, Lord. Well, he just completionisted his own career, so that's it for this this segment of the stream. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.